Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. The US government's plan to return astronauts to the moon by 2024 was far-fetched when it was announced in 2019 and became less likely each year as lawmakers have declined to pay for the project in full. Still, NASA publicly maintains the 2024 target date, despite delays for the rocket that will take astronauts back to the moon, the vehicles that will carry them down to its surface, and now the spacesuits they'll wear to protect them from the moon's airless environment, where the temperatures range between 260 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit. This isn't easy, as NASA considers these spacesuits to be, effectively, one-person space vehicles requiring sophisticated life support systems and reliable communications, as well as the means to keep astronauts comfortable, fed, hydrated, and capable of rambling about and using various tools. The NASA Inspector General said that despite $420 million spent since 2008, NASA will not have two suits ready for the mooted 2024 landing. The agency was attempting to design, test, and build the suit in-house, working with 27 different subcontractors. The total price tag is expected to be over $1 billion, more than what it cost to build the Falcon 9 orbital rocket and Cargo Dragon spacecraft. As former SpaceX engine guru Tom Mueller observed, Elon Musk offered to step in and build the suit for the space agency. Musk offered SpaceX's services to help NASA make its next-generation spacesuits. SpaceX could do it if need be, Musk wrote in a tweet. Musk's company has developed and made flight suits for astronauts who launched into space in SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. The flight suits are primarily designed to protect the astronauts in case of a fire inside the spacecraft or if the cabin depressurizes. Building spacesuits would be a more complex and challenging endeavor, given the need to survive outside of a spacecraft in the harsh environments of space. Musk's proposal came in response to a report by NASA's Inspector General on the work being done to develop a new line of extravehicular mobility units, which are informally called spacesuits. Astronauts on board the International Space Station use spacesuits designed 45 years ago for the Space Shuttle program, the report noted. The IG also highlighted that those spacesuits have been refurbished and partially redesigned over the past decades to continue working. NASA needs new spacesuits for its Artemis program, which was announced by former President Donald Trump's administration and has continued under President Joe Biden. Artemis is expected to consist of multiple missions to the moon's orbit and surface in the years ahead, with NASA aiming to land astronauts on the lunar body by 2024. Although NASA has stuck to the 2024 goal, the Inspector General has warned repeatedly that the schedule is threatened by several major programs that are key to Artemis's success. Musk earlier this year called the 2024 timeline actually doable after SpaceX became one of the critical pieces of the Artemis program by winning a $2.9 billion contract to use its Starship rocket to deliver astronauts to the moon's surface. The spacesuits have a multitude of different components, which the Inspector General noted are supplied by 27 different companies. That's a point Musk highlighted, saying in a tweet that it seems like too many cooks in the kitchen. Still, Musk has enough on his plate hustling to get his next big rocket, Starship, off the ground. NASA has tapped it to take astronauts down to the surface of the moon. But in doing so, it snubbed Blue Origin and Dynetics, two other bidders who issued a formal protest which was rejected by the government accountability organization. But like always, Musk delivered what he promised. The SpaceX spacesuits designed for Crew Dragon astronauts look a lot different from the usual NASA suits that have been in service for years. SpaceX shared an inside look at the spacesuit design in a video that offers some insight into one of the most visible parts of the Crew Dragon mission. The spacesuits featured a slick, streamlined design and have a symbiotic relationship with the seats in the Crew Dragon spacecraft. They hook up via an umbilical that connects to the astronauts to everything from communications to air for breathing. Chris Trigg, spacesuits and crew equipment manager, said SpaceX prioritizes ease of use for the suits, something the crew just has to literally plug in when they sit down, and then the suit kind of takes care of itself from there. 
The helmets are 3D printed and the gloves are touchscreen sensitive. But their primary purpose remains the same, to protect crew members from depressurization, where the air is lost from the capsule. The suits also ensure astronauts have sufficient oxygen and regulate their temperature. A communications link and breathable air are provided via a single umbilical cable in the seat that plugs into the suit. The Starman suits, as they've been called, are all in one piece and customized for the astronaut. Launch and entry suits that the astronauts wear at the start and finish of their missions are incomplete versions of the human-shaped spacecraft that explores use outside of the spacecraft in open space. These suits provide added safety to the astronauts during the most dangerous phases of the mission, like when they travel through the Earth's atmosphere, but they are not autonomous. The suits rely on the life support and communication systems of the spacecraft to protect life in the event of a failure of the capsule's primary life support systems. Traditionally, these suits have been adaptations of pilots' high-altitude suits that mostly serve the same purpose. Thus, they have the affectionate moniker of get-me-down suits. In his own style, entrepreneur Elon Musk has re-choreographed the line between fantasy and reality, taking what had once been fantasy and turning it into reality. The dragon suits are an example of this practice. In 2016, Elon Musk hired Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez to design a spacesuit for his firm. Fernandez is better known for creating costumes of superheroes in films such as Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice 2016. Musk wanted his suits, like his capsule and launch vehicles, to look like something that had never been seen before. Fernandez took inspiration from Musk when creating an all-black costume that resembled the suit from the movie Iron Man 2008. Posed in this newly designed costume for a Vogue photo shoot, Musk resembled none other than the fictional billionaire turned superhero, Tony Stark. The all black O&E suit was set to contrast sharply with the sleek white interior with black details of the dragon capsule. Of course, costume designers are not spacesuit engineers. The next step that SpaceX had to accomplish was transforming Fernandez's design into actual functional spacesuits. He turned the design over to spacesuit engineers currently working in the field to make it useful. We don't exactly know who was involved or how this was done. Like much of the company's operations, the work was secret and shielded by confidentiality and non-disclosure agreements. As SpaceX operations expand, more and more details will come to light. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until next time.